Hi guys, Andrea here. Welcome back to the channel. It is Andrea Michelle now versus Andy May, which is my nickname, one of my nicknames. Um, it's just not a nickname that I use very often anymore. Um, yeah, so I decided for 2020, I was switching everything. I wanted to switch everything to Andrea Michelle. And I actually sat down and did that. So uh, you may still be able to search me with Andy May or Andy May 13 on socials, but I've got my name actually switched to Andrea Michelle. That's just the way it is. For 2020 and going forward so we are going to do my 2020 makeup inventory I did keep track in 2019 of things that I purchased things that came in um, that were free and then I of course have the amount of things I have or the quantity and then how much they cost monetarily um, and then I even have the 2020 goals that I have kind of set for each of these categories. And of course, we're going to start with primers. I have a total of 11. The top row here is all full size. The two on the end, the Too Faced and the One Heck of a Blot, are the only ones that are rolling in from 2019. They're my oldest ones. So those are the two that I will be working on first to remove. Um, the Cover FX SPF drops are in the photo uh, because that's where I keep those, not because I keep it in my actual inventory count. I don't see it as an actual primer. It's just something I use along with my primer when I'm doing my makeup when it's more sunny and I know I'm gonna be outside more. Uh, the bottom row are the minis. Well, the Tarte one is a full size too, but the bottom row, is, these were all given to me. I did not purchase any of these. I have a total of 11 face primers, and my goals for 2020 is, of course, the two full size, like I said, the oldest ones in my collection, and then those five mini travel sizes that are along the bottom. Okay, and a section of my collection that has unfortunately grown more than I had intended it to is my foundation category. The oldest foundations I have are the Peach Perfect by Too Faced, the It Cosmetic CC Cream, and then the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. Uh, the LA Girl Pro Conceal or Pro Coverage, that is a mixer that I have to help lighten up the other ones. So let's just say summer hit and I actually started to get a tan and my stuff was way too fair. Now that's also the time where all of these foundations were coming out and I was just like, oh my gosh, I love and want them all. So I ended up with too many. Let's just make it plain and clear, way too many. So basically the full size I purchased and the smaller ones are the freebies, like the little minis, the milks, uh, the Tarte face tape, the Charbit, Charbit, Charlotte Tilbury and the It Cosmetics CC, like the little tube. Those are the only freebies. I paid for everything else. It's ridiculous. I have 16 foundations right now. Granted, five of them are minis. Um, my goal is to get rid of the three older ones. Everything else came into the collection in 2019, so to me that's not that bad. Um, so the three, the Peach Perfect, the It Cosmetic CC Cream, and the Tarte Amazonian Clay are the three that I'm going to focus on getting out of the collection first. And then I, of course, like to work through the little minis so that I just have the full-size regular bottles to go into 2021 with. Concealers are the same two concealers I've had for the last, like, year and a half, two years. Um, it is the Bare Minerals uh, Loose Concealer that's in Bisque. I don't plan on panning this this year. Um, I didn't use this as much, to be honest. I've kind of slacked off using concealer altogether. And then I have the Pixi Correcting Brightening Peach, the little cream concealer. That one I do want to work on getting out of my collection just because it is cream and it's older. That's my only goal. I have two concealers. It's not that big of a deal. Once that peach corrector's out, I will purchase another one. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's going to take me all year to pan that one. On to the powders. I have a total of eight. Um, all of these are new to the collection, minus that top Laura Geller one in porcelain. So I had Laura Geller, Laura Geller, Laura Geller's porcelain, and then I had the fair one, which is the middle one there. Or no, actually it's the one on the bottom. The fair one is the one that I used up in 2019, and I repurchased when I did that because I was getting a tan. I needed a darker color as well, so I got. I replaced my fair one and I bought the light one, which is the middle color there. Um, I also bought way too many loose powders. I really like loose powders for when I'm doing my makeup at home because I don't 
have to worry about it like making a mess in my makeup bag and they just work nicely so the three in the middle the beauty bakery flower the cover fx and the Too Faced, those are all new i am going to work on getting the Too Faced one used up first i like it it works fine but i like the cover fx and the flower more i have the bare minerals mineral veil uh, that one came free with something i don't even remember what um but it came free and then the Laura Mercier is the small little um, translucent setting powder that I'm just going to use up out of the collection as well. Next on the list are my bronzers. I have a total of seven. These are just individual pans of bronzer. Um, you'll see in my face and my face and eye palettes the other bronzers that I have. But these are just the individual pans that I have. Uh, the only one that's not in its packaging is the... What is that called? Um, it's from the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster. It's like the sculpting powder. I really like that one. That's really my only contour shade, I would think, right now. Um, my goal is to use up the Physician's Formula one and then the mini of the Too Faced uh, Chocolate Soleil. That one's actually in medium deep and works a little better than the Milk Chocolate one. But my goal is just to get those two out of the collection for the year. Seven bronzers, more than what I need, but I feel like five at the end will make me feel pretty good. So we are going into 2020 with same 10 bronzers, or, or 10 bronzers, 10 blushes. There are no new blushes in my individual blush category. I have these 10. I really like them all, and I feel like they're different enough from each other that I can't get rid of them. I've swatched these so many times side by side, and I just really like them. Um, my only, the only one that I'm like focusing on actually using this year is my Tarte and Expose, which is the full size one there. Um, it's just the oldest blush, so I feel like I'll work on that one the way that I did the Too Faced Baby Love, and maybe I'll finish another blush this year. That'd be pretty cool. But a full size one that doesn't have any signs of pan on it, I don't know how successful I would be. But 10 blushes, I don't think that's too bad. All right, so for highlight, I have a total of 13. Now I will give myself a little bit of credit and say that a lot of these are actually minis, like the two Beccas, the Little Ofra, the Nomad, the Tarte, uh, the Ulta, the Ilya. Those are all miniature sizes, so I feel like it's not as bad as it possibly could be. Um, I do have the one loose one by JCAT. I have the four liquids. To be honest, um, I think that I will be able to finish up the Anastasia Liquid Glow. glow words people um and the revolution liquid drops and champagne those are my two main goals um those i can cheat though and use them in lotion so that's what i plan on doing is trying to work through those through lotion i don't foresee myself actually panning and using any of the powdered ones up but i've got a total of 13 individual highlights now when we get to the face palettes, I feel like this is where things get a little weird because I track them two ways on my spreadsheet here. So I've got a total of seven face palettes. I count the Tarte ones as individual ones since they're separate from each other. Uh, this adds four bronzers, 12 highlights, and nine blushes to like the bronzer highlight blush count. Um, it just, it's weird when you have the face palettes. So I don't have any intentions of um, really panning most of these. The only thing that I'd really like to have pan in every single one and use as much up as possible is the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. This is my oldest like face palette kit. Um, and it's just highlights and it's something that I neglect a lot because the highlights are so intense but I think if I focus on this a lot during the summer um, I can kind of glow myself up a whole lot and hopefully get some pan on them. I really like the highlights that's why I've never been able to get rid of it. Um, that's my goal though. The newer ones to my collection that I bought too much in this area obviously. Um, oh and I don't even have the Trixie one listed on here. Uh, so it actually adds there's eight yeah, I'm sorry. There's eight face palettes, um, and there's four bronzers added, 13 highlights added, and 11 blushes added to my collection because the Trixie one has two blushes and a highlight. Uh, so that's newer to my collection. The Hourglass palette is new to my collection, which I absolutely freaking love. That thing is so nice. Um, I can see myself 
purchasing some of those powders full size in the future. And then the little Tarte Mini 3s, those are really nice too. Um, and those are new to the collection. The other three are the same old. So I've got eight face palettes in my collection, which isn't great, but it is what it is. So next on the list are facial setting sprays, primer sprays, what have you. Um, the only, like the oldest one is the Too Faced Hangover RX. That's my favorite one. And uh, the only other one that was uh, like purchased in 2019 is the uh, Urban Decay Honey All Nighter Setting Spray. I am, work the other three were freebies, so my intentions are honestly to get through all of these for 2020 and have no setting spray left over at the end of the year. And now we have the brow category. I have a total of eight brow products. My goal is to use up that Ulta brow tint and one of the Essence Make Me Brows. Um, probably, honestly, won't purchase the Ulta one again. That one was a freebie that came with like a set. Um, Essence Make Me Brow is my absolute favorite. So I have one in the older packaging and the one in the newer packaging. Then for brow pencils, I want to use up the Benefit Goof Proof one that came as a freebie. The Essence one that I bought, it's a little warm, so I have to mix it with one of the Ulta, Ultra Slim, Ultra Slim, I can't word today at all. Um, Ultra Slim brow pencils. This is my favorite brow pencil. The one that is open here literally has the tiniest little nub, but because I didn't finish it off, it's hanging out for 2020. So I'm pretty sure I'll be able to use all but two of the brow pencils and one of the Essence Make Me Brows, which will be nice to get down to like three items. That's my favorite brow routine is just the Ulta brow pencil and the Essence Make Me Brow. They look great. But uh, to start out 2020, I've got a total of eight. Next, we have the eye primer category. Um, the Franken primer is the one that's in the non-descript tube. Um, that one I've had for a while. Uh, the NYX glitter primer I've had as well for a while. Those are my oldest. And then two that came into my collection for 2019 is the Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer. And then the Urban Decay Honey Pot um, primer potion. So I only have a total of four eye primers in my collection. I definitely don't need any more. It's going to take me forever to even use like the Franken primer. So I've got four. I would like to set a goal to use them up, but honestly I don't think I'll be able to finish any of these in 2020. Now we're entering the world of the largest category that I have, which is eyeshadow and eyeshadow palettes. Uh, we're going to start with the individual pans of eyeshadow. I have a total of 44. That includes the loose pigments, the liquid glitters, the cream shadows, and then individual like pans. Plus, I have Lace Teddy from the Too Faced. That's the one that you're seeing with the pan on it and the little mini palette over there or a mini magnetic palette. That one is the one that I plan on using up for 2020. I also plan on using that one next to it, the Urban Decay Shadow in Dust. Uh, those four little skinny pans of mauve, dusty rose colored shadows are from the Naked 3 palette. That's all that remains from it. I really love those shadows. Um, I think once I'm done with Dust though, because the Naked 3 palette was really old for me, I may get rid of the other three shadow pans. So those two right there, the Lace Teddy that has the pan and the Urban Decay and Dust are the two that I'd like to work through. Uh, the other three pans in there are actually little samples from Natasha Denona. So those are new to the collection, but we're free. Um, I didn't purchase any other single pans. I did purchase those ColourPop Kathleen Lights loose pigments. I really like them. Yeah, they can be messy. Yes, I have to use glitter, uh, glitter glue with them, but I honestly didn't have any loose pigments. I enjoy playing with them. They're colors that I could not duplicate in my collection when I bought those, so I don't have any guilty feelings towards them at all. Uh, the Lorac Cream Shadow is a new one for me that came in... I think it was like a free gift with purchase someday. I don't know. I can't remember. I bought too much in 2019, but these are my shadows. The only goal that I really have is to get those two individual pans used up and out of the collection. Next are the face and eye palettes. So the left side, the Tarte's 
palettes. I think those are what I had last year. And then the ones on the right are actually new to my collection this year. I do have the Dose of Color Mickey and Minnie ones. I couldn't freaking help it. Don't judge me. I love Disney. I love Mickey and Minnie. It is what it is. And then I did get the Bare Minerals set um, with some of my Ulta points. That's where that uh, Bare Minerals mineral veil came from. So I bought the set. It was, I was using my points and it was already on sale. Like the set was, I want to say 30 something dollars. And then it was marked down again to like 20 something dollars. And I had like my 20% coupon that I was using in conjunction with my point. Like it was a crazy deal. I paid barely anything for it. And it came with the Bare Minerals palette, the Mineral Veil, an, a mascara, and something else. And it came in the little makeup bag. And I hadn't tried Bare Minerals eyeshadows, like their pressed ones. I wanted to try them or their pressed blushes. I've had the loose blushes in the past that were really nice. So I wanted to give them a go. I actually like the palette. Um, it's pretty good for everyday use, but I have a total of six face and eye palettes, which brings in four bronzers amongst them, four blushes, three highlights, and 48 pans of eyeshadow. Um, I don't have any intentions of panning and getting rid of any of these at this time. I don't want to set goals for myself that I'm not going to be able to achieve, and I don't think I can set a goal with these that I'd be able to achieve. So at the end of the year, I'll probably still have these six palettes. Okay, eyeshadow palette time. These are ones that just have eyeshadows in it. This is my biggest category. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, I've got 26 palettes that are just face and or just eye palettes. So it doesn't include the eight face and eye palettes that we just looked at, or six that we just looked at. Um, so I've got 26 palettes, which brings in a total of 264 pans of eyeshadow. Um, so we'll just go through them here. These Tarte palettes I've had. Uh, the Tarte Pro Remix is the newest one that I've gotten from this. Um, I think I got that one for Christmas last year. Not 2019, but 2018. I really like these palettes. The Tartlet in Bloom is by far my favorite everyday palette. Uh, the Tartlet one, the original like really purpley one, is one that Bradley got me and I absolutely love. He's the one who got me the Pro and the Pro Remix. Um, the Tartlet Toasted is a nice warm palette. There's only like one stupid shadow with a bunch of glitter that falls out that's stupid. But overall, I really like them. And I really like the mini palettes. And I do include the little mini palettes in with my regular palettes. I don't separate any of it. Uh, then we've got my Dose of Colors little section here. So the Marvelous Mauves, the Baked Browns, Sassy Siennas, Blushing Berries. These are ones that I all already had. Um, and then the pretty cool one is one that got added to the collection this year. I think I got that with points towards the beginning of 2019. Then we've got the Dose of Colors. Um, this was the one that was with I Love Sahari. I really like the colors in here. And then I've got the Dose of Colors Friendcation palette, I think is what that one's called. Bradley actually got me that one too. I like these palettes. I like the Dose of colors formula I like the, my only issue with dose of colors eyeshadows is that they pull darker on me they almost like oxidize but I know that going into them so it's really not an issue I love the eyeshadows uh, next we have my Urban Decay section uh, the bottom two Urban Decay Heat and Gwen Stefani I've had honestly I don't think I've used the Gwen Stefani palette all last year I really like the palette. It's just not something I use. I feel that I may be holding on to that one because it's Gwen Stefani. So we'll see if I end up getting rid of that one this year. I don't know. And then I got the little mini Urban Decay B one. I honestly, because it had the B on it. Like, let's just be real. That's why I got one of the little sets. It's because it had the B on there. I didn't want the honey one because, like, I'm not into honey, but I love honey bees. I think they're adorable. Um, and then we've got the, like mix mash of palettes that I don't have a ton of multiples of. So I did get the Melt, Vita, and Merite. I don't know how you say it. Uh, palettes. These are absolutely gorgeous. I've only even began to play with them. This is a new formula. Melt is something that I've always wanted to try. I've always been kind of attracted to them as a brand, but I never got the like smokestacks. I knew that like that's not something that I would actually enjoy it kind of bug me even though I was very fascinated by them so I'm glad that they came out with these type of palettes and this like set just 
I fell for it. I loved it. I love the packaging. I love everything. I love the colors. Um, they do have colors that I didn't have in my collection. So I was like, okay, this is like the last color palette that I'm going to buy. Um, I did get the Sugar Pill Fun Size Palette in 2019 as well. I absolutely love those colors. I've had more time to play with the Sugar Pill Palette. And I really, I don't know, it's just really fun. I like it. Um, Sugar Pill was another one of those brands where I've always been like, ooh, I want to try something by them. But nothing came out that I really was like, okay, yeah, this is what I'm going to get. This little fun size palette came out. Lauren got it uh, from Lauren May Beauty, and I just I couldn't resist after that. It's a fun little pop of color. Um, I feel like between the Melt and the Sugar Pill palette, I don't need any more color in my life. That's as much as I'll ever play with. Um, the Dream Street palette by ColourPop and Kathleen Lights is still hanging out with me, as well as the Modern Renaissance Anastasia palette. I actually tried to force myself to declutter this one, and... Cause I feel like I go towards the mauve colors, but then I ended up pulling it back in like the next day. And, like I tried to force it out, but I can't. Um, the Viseart palette. So this is one that I did declutter. I was like, boom, $80 palette. I don't care. Get out of my collection. I don't use you. Well, it ended up cycling back to me um, from who decided to claim it. And I used it and I don't know, like I like the formula. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to leave it in here. I don't care anymore. I did get the Natasha, Natasha, <laughs> telling you guys words, Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. This thing is super cool. So this one is just the one that I was like, yes, I want it. I like the tones. It had the weird formulas in it. Let me play with it. It's been really fun. I really enjoy it. I can't say that I don't think it's worth $130, but I feel like it's different from other things that I've tried. So I enjoy it. I don't regret my purchase. Let's just say that. And then I do have the Pat McGrath Mothership 5 palette. Um, I still have the box that it goes in. I just didn't put it in it for this picture. I don't keep it in that box, but I kept the box because it feels weird not to keep the box. The box is so nice. Um, this one's really cool too. It's fun to kind of play around with it. I will say that of the two, because this is like a $125 palette, of the two... I feel like the Pat McGrath palette is more of normal. I feel like that's the one where I'd be like, you know, no, those eyeshadows aren't worth that price tag. Where Natasha Denona's, this palette at least, is different enough that I'd be like, okay, it's worth playing with. So those are my feelings on that. I don't have any intentions of painting any of these or decluttering any. This is just 26 eyeshadow palettes that I've got. And now we have liners. Um, almost all of these are new. Uh, the only ones that are older are the Urban Decay Zeros, the black ones. Um, the NYX Retractable Liner in Brown. And the VS, which is Vamp Stamps Ink. Uh, it's Vink. So those, everything else is new. Um, <laughs> I used a total of four. But I currently are for in 2019, but I've got a total of 21 right now. Um, I did cave and get the Melt um, gel liners. Those have been fun to play with. I purchased the black and the brown TARDIS, the regular sized double liners during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty sale. And I accidentally ordered two of the TARDIS trio, the shorter ones. I meant to only order one. I somehow ended up with two. I don't remember if I ordered two or if they sent two in error. Either way, I ended up with them. It is what it is. And then I love those liners though, so I know that I'll use all of those. And then I have the fun ones that I got from LA Girl. I don't regret purchasing these. They're like $4.50 a piece. Not bad at all. And super fun colors to play with during the summer. So it is what it is. I have 21 liners. Definitely I'm not going to be purchasing any any time soon. I could probably go two years without buying any liner at least. Now we have mascaras. I only have two full-size mascaras. The rest are minis and travel sizes. I have a total of 16. Most of these were freebies that came in the mail. Um, the Bare Minerals Lashtopia is part of a set that I purchased as well as the larger Better Than Two Sex Better than two sex, better than sex, two face mascara. The larger one of those came in a set as well that I did purchase. And then the Ico one I did purchase because I used to use the Wet n Wild um, 
skinny mascara. That's what I use for my lower lashes. And since I'm no longer purchasing from them, I was trying to find a replacement for it. I have not used this one yet. I did try two of the others that I was testing. So I'll try this one out this year, see how it goes. These are my mascaras for the year though. I used a total of nine last year, which included more full size than many. So I'm pretty sure I can make a great dent in this this year. Alrighty, and another rather large category for me uh, is lip products. I have a total of 52 currently. Uh, we're gonna start with the lip balms. Um, there are two that are not pictured here. I got them for Christmas. They are EOS lip balms. Uh, one is in my truck, one is in my husband's truck for those days when I forget my lip balm. So most of these I did not purchase. Um, the Skin Fix ones are rollovers. I've had those, uh, not last year, but the year before. The uh, Mongo Kiss one is one of the last rollovers that I have. The Kanuka, is that how you say that? Uh, and the Skin Iceland one, those are ones that came into my collection. They didn't cost me anything. The EOS came in as a gift. And then the two Tarte ones are the ones that I purchased, but they're really nice and I like them, so whatever. Uh, the next area I've got here or category in the lips is lip gloss. I do have two of them currently. The Buxom one is a plumping one. The Anastasia one is a regular one. These were freebies that came into my collection. I'm not a big lip gloss person, so this is more than enough lip gloss for me. I plan on using the Buxom one up completely. Oh yeah, and for the lip balms I plan on using let me see here I've actually got a little list and goal here I've got the Jack Black uh, fresh mint one that I want to use up as well as the Mongo Kiss blood blood orange one so those are two regular lip balms I want to use up the two EOS lip balms and then one of the skin fix ones so there's kind of my goal on those and for lip liners, I have the five here. These are the same ones that have kind of been here. I take that back. So I used to have a purple one that I got rid of because I did get rid of my purple lipstick. It's just not one of the weird colors that I ever went for. And I did get a black one because I have a black lipstick now because I was going to be Wednesday for Halloween and I wanted black lips. So it is what it is. Uh, next, we have the regular lipstick category. I've got a few. So I do have the new ones to the collection are the ColourPop Sophia collab ones. I did get the full set. I have the Ulta Beauty ones. They're like Ulta Luxe. Those are really nice lipsticks. Those are cardboard packaging so it makes me feel good. Um, the ones off to the right, the little mini size ones, those all came in as freebies to my collection. So I have a Charlotte Tilbury, a couple of NARS ones, and a Bite one. And the other two that are new are the Anastasia ones I got during 21 Days of Beauty. One is black and one is in Rum Punch, which is this really pretty bricky type of red. I really like it. And then the others are colors that I'm going to work on. So the ones that I plan on using up are the four minis and the Stila Magnificent and Mon Ami. Uh, that's one of the older ones. So those are the ones that I'm going to focus on using up. And then for liquid lipstick, the collection has gotten a little smaller. So I have the six by Dose of Colors. Uh, they're all colors that I really like. And then I have four by Too Faced in the Melted Mattes. I no longer have the little minis here. The Mini Mouse one is a new one. And the Too Faced Melted Matte Full Size in Queen Bee is a new one. Uh, that was part of the set that I had purchased. But I used up a mini of that one. So... I'm happy to have the full size. It's a color I really like. And that makes 52 lip products for 2020. All right, and now we've got nails. This is a category that's shrank a lot over the last year. So I do have a total of 32 nail polishes and I really only have three brands, I think. So I've got the little mini Ciate ones here. The green one in Roll Up, Roll Up is almost gone. So I'm sure I'll finish that one off and a couple others this year. And then we've got the KL polish ones that I own. I love this polish formula. Um, Kathleen Lights is no longer part of KL polish, which kind of sucks, but she has Lights lacquer now. So I would like to purchase from that. And there is a color that came out that I really wanted, but I'm not purchasing any nail polish in 2020. So I'm just going to work on using up as much of these as possible. 
I will focus more on the Ciate minis just because they're easier to go through. Um, but I will be working on some of these KL polishes as well. I also have a couple from Color Cop. Uh, Color Cop. Color pop. Uh, these are older and I do want to work these two out of the collection. And lastly, I have my Seiche line. So I have Seiche Clear, which I use as my base coat, Seiche Feet as my quick dry top coat, and then I do have Seiche Restore. So I only have one of each. Uh, this is probably one of the only things I'll be able to repurchase in 2020 as far as makeup goes, and that'll be Seiche Clear when I run out because I only have half a bottle. And I might be able to make Sage Feet last the whole year. I doubt it though. I'll probably have to buy a bottle towards the end, but still not that bad. And the last category that we have for my 2020 makeup inventory is fragrance. So I only have eight in this category. I used up a total of 40 for 2019. That actually included all the little mini sprayers too, but it was over $400 a perfume. I only count those little mini sprayers as $1. I am not making any purchases in 2020, so I won't have any influx of those little mini sprayers. So I just have these eight. My goal is to use up the mini of the YSL Mon Paris because that's what I'm going to use while we're on vacation. I love that for an everyday scent perfume. And I am currently working on the Elizabeth Arden White Tea, the little travel sprayer. It smells okay, nothing I would repurchase. The only other one I plan up using for 2020 is the Clean Rain. I love this scent. That's actually the only perfume that I purchased last year. All the other perfumes are like gifts from Bradley. Uh, CK1 is something that was like my first perfume. I was in sixth grade. I love that. So it has that like nostalgic scent to it. Uh, so does Curve. That was one of the other perfumes that I got when I was really young. And then Coach is the per first perfume that Bradley ever bought me, like picked out and bought for me. And then YSL Black Opium is one that he bought for our anniversary. So I'm not in a rush to finish up those, but I will work on them some. So I did also include a picture of the bottles standing up so I can kind of see the levels of where they are and see kind of what they look like at the end of the year. But that is my collection for 2019 or for 2020 it's a lot I have no intentions of purchasing anything other than nail polish base and top coats um I don't need anything else I don't want to spend my money on a bunch of makeup and perfume and nail stuff I spent a lot of money on it in 2019 even with all my points and the deals and the 20% off coupon like I mean I get it I get it on really good sales but I also spent more than I should have um, I think it was just misdirected emotions, like therapy, I guess. I don't know. It was a lot. I'll do a whole video on kind of what happened in 2019. Uh, that'll be the one after this, I think. But yeah, there's my 2020 collection. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in the next one.